Everybody's gonna complain that was already there. Yeah. This was already there. Show him. Show him, John. Look, that was already there. Oh, my. oh dear. Oh. <laughs> There's so much to see here. A motor? The motorator? Motorator? The motor. She's a real beaut. I really like the lights. Like these lights. And this one. I like that it kind of looks like it has a googly eye effect. <laughs> this? Eye. This is pretty sweet. Little storage area. It's crazy how much wood. Like, wood floorboards. Wood up in there. This is wood. All what, right. What you thinking? We need to figure out how to unbolt a cab or cut a cab off would be a better description. Yeah. Remove cab from said frame. Yes, sir. Right. So the running boards mount here to the frame, and then there's a rubber mount, possibly wood, <laughs> that mounts the cab. So we should be able to like take the cab off, take the boom assembly off, take the running boards off and the fenders and all that off, and then set all that out. And then we'll bring the F-350 frame in and set up all that. You probably... Oh, lizard. Lizard. Oh, he's back in this hole. Woo! So if we take these off and take this front piece off, then the grill will drop out and then we can pull the hood. I'd like to take it off in pieces, as big of pieces as we can. All right. So grill, hood, then cab, then boom, then running boards and fenders. Oh, well, got the lovely hood off of there. Got some rods hanging up. Got the seat out. Floor is already gone. Check this out. Got a spare fuel filter. I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah, it's got some, some gas in there still. Being careful, Sean. We already got attacked by a lizard earlier. When we opened the hood. He's over there. Ain't nobody know. Look at this cool welding. Oil cap. They did that back in the day. This is like a, a rotor. Hey, I found the rotor. M might be able to fire up now. Oh, there, good as new. Here. So, a little, a little word um, to everybody that's gonna lose their freaking minds on this. This isn't gonna be done in a week. We still have a business. We still have recoveries. We have Trail Hero in a couple weeks. We got stuff going on. Just pulling this in, start tearing it apart, and start doing the stuff that has to happen anyway. But just letting you all know, calm. I get enough of the comments. When are you gonna start Robbie's truck? When are you gonna start Robbie's truck? We're starting it. <laughs> Don't start losing your mind about when it's gonna be done. Hmm. It's gonna take a while. A long while. Yeah. yeah. Tow trucks are not built in a day. Ask Matt and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a... The hood off real radiator thing right there. Yeah, that thing. We've got the floor pan out. I think this is the gas pedal. But anyway, this is a brake and the clutch went right here. This was on the dash. We got that out. Oh, look at the speedometer. How cool is this? It still moves. Wow. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at that. Dang. Oh. 
but... Got the inside all cleaned out. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Looking nice. Somebody found this. I found that in there. Sean found this. A Roosevelt pin. How cool is that? Under the driver's seat. Under the driver's seat. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's this wild looking little unit. Oh, it's got a number in there. Zero. Dude, that's the gas tank. So it reads how many gallons is in there probably. No or, kidding. Or uh, liters or whatever they went by back then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the windshield uh, open up. Oh, yeah. Close and open. So now that's free. And the wiper. Check out that wiper. Manuel yeah. mode. Yeah. That's cool. So got one more there in the corner and here. And then I gotta figure out how to pull the column and pull this shifter. And it should just whoop. Hang on. That's loose. That's loose. <laughs> Been a few since that was off. Oh. Bad, bad things were installed. Sweet. Look at that. I'm really surprised these blocks are still in there. Right? Like the wooden blocks. The rest of them are walk rotted out. Yeah. But this here 1932 wood is looking... <laughs> 29. 29. Yeah, this is almost 100 years old. Can you unhook that hook? Okay. Ooh. See, look, the tire's in the right spot for the that. She... slim, streamlined, yeah. uh, high-speed edition. Go right under there. That's what my thought is. What if we took... A car frame and made another boom. Like, same concept, just newer and slightly updated with maybe some safety factors thrown in. Because, have you seen this? I'm, I'm soaking it in. I'm, I'm liking the Texas size welding. These are my people. I want to use as much as we can. But at the same time, it needs to be safe to be used. Yeah, and that's... Yeah, I know, this is all sketch. Don't get me wrong, this is badass, and it's super awesome. But, this is a waterline flange yeah. welded onto a pipe that comes over and welds onto a waterline flange that then is horribly welded on to a drum. And that's bolted to an axle. <laughs> yes. The concept is awesome, but I have concerns. We gotta pull this motor, exhaust, evaporations, fuel tank, bucket, bumper, Everything's got to come off this frame. Quote a good friend of mine, Chippy Chappy. 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 Chippy well, I see, like, the whole running board is flat. Oh, yeah. So we may have to just make a runner that levels it out, which if we just make a cutout, if we use angle iron, it'd be perfect. Angle iron on here, coming in this way, and then weld it along and just make a flat all the way across. Something for the body to sit on, something for the floors, or for the running boards and everything to sit on. 
we do a fuel tank like right here, uh -huh. the fill neck is. Oh, oh the OG fill neck? Yeah. yeah. So we found something. It's basically perfect. We got Chevy 350. Right oh, it's got the right manifolds. The right manifolds. It's got the tall valve cover. SM465 adapter. Dana, th what is that? 300? Dana 300. Transfer case. It's basically perfect. So, uh, you want me to put it in neutral? Yeah. <laughs> it's got all the neutrals. That's Keep the one the thing way. we can count on for Ford. They've got integrated tow hooks ready to go at a moment's notice. My first ride in the double A tow truck. <laughs> so. Keep coming. Stop. I was gonna hang on it and swing. Yeah? But then I was like, I ain't Tarzan. <laughs> Back of it. What a twist. Better, closer, warmer. Lizard. That lizard's still in there. The lizard? He's right there. Look, he's looking at me. He's Pretty coming good. for me again. Oh, oh I, I see him. him. Oh, there he goes. Hey, now he's on the wood. Oh, the lizard. Uh, yeah. 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 Now, just imagine this without this giant boat anchor in the front. Wouldn't it be cool if this horribly worthless motor wasn't right here? Twenty-eight and a half. And three. So, Thirty-two. So then, the whole thing needs to come forward a lot. Because we want the grill to land right around the steering box. We'll pull a whole bunch of measurements before we <laughs> start deciding exactly where it goes. This is what we're after. Like I said, I want, you, I want a much smaller, more compact motor in here. That's why we're probably going with that small block 350. The older small block, not the LS's. And it's no hating on the LS. The LS is just way too electronically controlled and it's a lot bigger motor. So I want to go small block so that we can tuck it in inside that small engine compartment area that we have. And the biggest constraint is the hood and the grill. We want to keep that look. So in order to keep that look, we've got to go small, compact, yet workable motor. Ask a hot rodder, ask an off-roader, ask anybody. There is nothing better than a small block Chevy. Old school. Old school cast iron small block. If we design our motor mounts and our everything around that, we could do a 383 stroker, we could do a 400, we could do a four bolt main, we could do da, 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 da. Options are unlimited. I'm not hating on the LS's. The only thing I'll hate on is Ford. <laughs> not even Ford, I like Fords. I just hate that V10. To those who are offended, I apologize to those that I haven't. Hang around, your time's coming. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cut it here um, and then kind of do like the wrecker. We'll do a lift spring sprint, uh, shackle flip, incorporate the pumper into it so we've got very minimal overhang and keeping the leaf springs. That's the biggest thing that I wanna do is keep the leaf springs. They're reliable, dependable, and strong.
I want to have something that's controllable, even should something fail. <laughs> we got to get the steps on, because the steps are going to kind of define where everything's going to land. That'll give us final placement of the cab, where it's going to live, where it's going to be. Then we'll start designing and building or incorporating whatever of the boom structure we're going to do. I'm a little concerned about completely reusing the original boom of the Model A because it is super old. There's a lot of cracks in it and stresses. And, and if, if Robbie wants to do with this what we do with the wrecker and stuff like that, we've got we've to gotta make this safe. I love making cool, but it has to be safe. We care about Robbie. Robbie, well, we care about you. We care about you, Robbie. But honestly, <laughs> like I said, um, our seat belts and our, our safety glasses aside, when I build something, it has to be built strong and to work and not fail. So that's what we're going for. It's going to take us a while, so please hang with us. Videos will be coming, but like I said, Good. October 3rd, we are headed to Trail Hero. We'll be there from October 3rd to October 9th or 10th. Something like that. We're going to be there all week for Trail Hero. So the shop will be shut down. Mike's really? going. Sean's going. Yeah. We all go. I'll, I'm going to make an appearance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hang out with the <laughs> Mike and Sean show. Nice. <laughs> so if you're there, say what's up. Yeah, say hi. swing by. We're going to try to bring shirts. We're running low on stock because you guys are buying them up like crazy, which I appreciate so much. That is so awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, we are putting another order of Diamond Bill Rockpecker shirts in because Ooh. those sold out so fast. No way? Yeah, yeah. Like, those <laughs> totally gone. So, yeah, super cool. Thank you, Mike, for that one. <laughs> so, there it is. We're starting on Robbie's build. We're going to focus more on it. As we get into the winter months, after Thanksgiving, we're going to have nothing but time to focus on this truck and get it knocked out. Thank you guys for coming along. Thank you for watching. Oh, wow. <laughs>